and I'm hoping we'll get dense, dense puffs eventually, which would allow us to create oxalite without having to use so much power and gold. And um, on our Cultivolan planet, that's the one with our metal volcanoes. Um, all, all of my, my duplicates are getting stressed over there, and I think it was because they were... Yeah, all my duplicates on this planet, Cult of Volan, were getting stressed, and it was because their eardrums were popping again. Uh, because the pressure was too high over here. So I put in a couple of carbon skimmers. So I'm pretty sure the carbon dioxide was just getting too over pressure. So I put a couple carbon skimmers. That should actually clean up, make the oxygen... Uh, the main element here. We have some random hydrogen at the top of the base. I don't think that will mess us up anywhere. We have been slowly building up some more refined metals. We got 6.8 tons of gold. 13.3 tons of refined copper. So gold and copper there. Ah, yes, and we were working on this thing last time. We need to tame this aluminum volcano and this guy. Uh, we'll work on that soon, but I do want to... I have a rocket ready. I want to jump right into... I want to figure out what if this is another planet, because we're looking for another planet to explore. So I think in order to do that, I need... I need to change up my rocket a little bit, actually. Because I need to have a... Uh, what do I need to have? I want to remove the drill cone. I want to... Uh, I want to have the one, the, the thing that reveals the area around it. What is that one called? I think I can remove this too. Hey, what's up, silly device? How are you doing, my friend? How are rad bolts doing over here, by the way? We have a lot of nuclear waste. So if we ever figure out something to do with that, we have plenty of it. I was thinking about possibly making more Radbolt generators to get a second diamond press going. I wonder if we're wasting any power. Um, let me look at our graph here. Power wasted. We have a net negative. I think we have extra power we can use for that if I want to. But I'm going to hold off on doing that yet. Keep saying uh, these guys are starving. I have this polluted. We filled these up with slimes that should off gas in here. Uh, to give them some polluted oxygen to eat. Honestly, I wonder if there's extra polluted oxygen anywhere I can just pump into there. Oh, blue auction over here. I could potentially, like, you know. Oh, we have too many. We have too many guys in here, don't we? How many dudes are in here? Why are you cramped? Uh, let's see. Room. It says there are seven in there. It's a six. It's a maximum size room. Okay, apparently you can't have as many... Oh, wait, are there eggs? I bet you there's eggs in here. Squeep. Yeah, okay, I don't have... I actually need to send eggs out of here. That's the problem. Uh, which... We have one auto-sweeper. Actually, I need to have multiple auto-sweepers to cover this room, don't I? I do. Because I need to get eggs out of here. And throw eggs down into here, or the egg we want are the dense pufflet eggs. Got a squeaky, but that's not what we want. We want. We do want to fill this up with. What does a squeaky pufflet do? Bleach stone. Definitely don't want that. Uh, I don't know if I want to do a separate farm for them yet. Okay, let's get a let's get coverage with auto sweepers here. So I'm gonna deconstruct this guy. Shipping. I need auto sweeper that covers the entire room. 
That should cover... Okay, that covers that entire side of the room. That should be enough to cover them all. Then a conveyor loader. Or any eggs. I'll be able to reach that. I th uh, hold on, cancel. These don't need to be steel. We definitely don't need these to be steel. Okay, uh, shipping. Auto sweeper. Gold will be fine. There. There. There, loader again. Gold is fine. Right there. Does that reach that? I believe those will both reach. And then shipping. Conveyor rails. Uh, what do we have the most of? We have the most gold amalgam, I guess. Man, my biggest issue right now is just running out of normal metals. You know what I was also thinking of doing? I was thinking of um, resupplying a couple of stone hatches for, for another supply of coal. So I think with our igneous, the amount of igneous rock we're making, we could probably do that. Do I have some stone hatchling eggs? No, I don't have any. So I might, I'd have to restart my stone hatching, hatchling stuff. But what I can do is I can deconstruct a bunch of this stuff to get the metals back. Let's do that right now. Uh, that's buildings. I need, is it automation? Is it, con it's conveyor rails. That's what I want. Get rid of this entire thing. If I were to start them back up, it'd probably be like these four. So I'm going to get rid of that, that, and that. And I can now use some of those supplies to get this built. All right. So what am I getting back from that? Looks like some copper ore. From that, okay. We'll mix as these things come back up. There we go. So that will deliver eggs. I need to power these guys. Uh, so it'll be conductive wire. We got out of lead. That. That. And that, and that should allow us to pick up all the eggs as they are uh, laid. And the eggs will just go over into here, into here, and they'll grab the ones that we want to incubate, which are the dense pufflet eggs. So we'll have to keep an eye out for dense pufflet eggs. The main problem is them starving. The pufflets, the puffs eat the polluted oxygen and I'm not sure if these ones are off gassing or not because they're in this little bit of water so actually I might want to move all these storage bins up off the water so they can off gas shouldn't I I think I maybe should do that Oh, I'm not, I'm not pumping in. Oh, am I still pumping in clean oxygen? I am, aren't I? I am. Yeah, so it's overpressurizing. All right, we'll try to stop that. I think the main issue, though, is because these are sitting in water, they're not off-gassing. So if I actually put them on top of, like, mesh tiles... Or maybe just not pumping oxygen in here will be enough for it to off-gas. 
So I'm pretty sure these are not gonna off gas because I like the oxalate. The reason we have this water is so that the oxalate in here doesn't off gas. Did I have automation going in here? I did. Okay. This is gonna say eggs. All critter eggs. All critter eggs, why aren't you delivering? Is that really out of range of that? It can reach the egg. Is that considered out of range? Dang it, it's out of range, isn't it? Well, that's annoying. I gotta move this over one space and that over one space. I think it's the overall pressure that those aren't off-gassing. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, come on. Why do you have to start doing it and then not finishing it? It's so annoying. Deconstructor, please. Thank you. Shipping. If I do this... Power. Is that plugged in? Yes, I think so. Oh wait, that's that's not right. That's not right. Shipping. If I do it like this, it should work. And then auto sweeper. That should be able to reach, and then power. The wire there, there, deconstruct those two guys and that. Okay. Because you can see this guy is off gassing, but these are not off gassing. And I think these are not off gassing because, because they're in water, I think. I think I might need to actually put these on mesh tiles here. Because this pressure is going down, 1400, and this one is off gassing while well, these ones are not. So, um, let's do this. We're gonna do three tiles, three mesh tiles. Put those on top, and if we do that, we need to make this three tiles bigger. So that would be one, two, and like three. And we do three mesh tiles. Gosh, this uses materials I don't have a lot of. I want the water to be able to flow below them now. Yeah, well, I mean, the, wa the low water enough is, is enough to halt, and that's on purpose because we want this to not off-gas right here. So that's it's kind of purposeful. This, this, this. Got, uh, cancel that. This should be buildings. Make sure our wires didn't get disconnected or anything there. Uh, automation. Nope. Uh, shipping. Okay, good, that looks fine. And that should be all eggs. Quitter eggs. There we go. Delivered the quitter egg. Perfect. That's what I want. And then we copy this. Put that there. There. Size of the room should be 96 once they build that last piece there. And we copy these settings to right there. Then we deconstruct this guy. 
Currently not in the stable till they build this mesh tile. Please build this mesh tile. All right, that's starting to off gas. Okay. And uh, that should be back to being a stable. 96 tiles, good. Critter six. So the eggs are getting sent out. Being sent out. Copy this guy there. Deconstruct that guy. Deconstruct that guy. Okay. Now, there will be some polluted auction that kind of escapes out of here, but they should also be eating it, so it shouldn't be too bad, I think. So something like this, I think, will work. Again, I've never, I've never um, ranched puffs before, so... This and this. Oh, nice. <laughs> Auto Sweeper's doing it for us. And these can also put the oxalite in there as it comes out, too. Okay. All right, so we're going to let that kind of go. Uh, do we have another pufflet egg yet? Set to go in there. We need to just every once in a while check for dense pufflet eggs. And can we see what their chance... Let's see what uh, printables we have right now. Uh, sure, word seed. Can we see what the chance of them laying a dense pufflet egg is, if it's going up at all? Oh, you're a baby. Puffed. Dense pufflet egg, 34%. Okay, so we will, with this, eventually get that. And then there's blue auction here, so they will not starve. Only have six of eight. Okay, very nice. I think the little hole in the middle is out of range, so any eggs there have to be moved manually. This little hole right here, you might be right. Uh, there's also a little range on the far side over here. Come on, game. Come on with this lag. I don't think they'll go to the far left very often, so I'll have to eventually, uh, just every once in a while, keep an eye on this. But for now, I'm going to say that's good. All right, uh, I want to... Module above this, the cartographer module. And then at the top of this, we need just a basic nose cone. Made out of, uh, yeah, gold is fine. Okay, there we go. This will allow us, I want to do a couple more explorations before we... Um, actually try to colonize another planet. Basically, I want to see... I want to go here, because I think we get something from this. We get an artifact there. We need to see what's there. We need to see what's there. So once this is ready to go, we should be able to do that. And down here, we need to finish working on this guy. I need to get one more steam turbine here. Um, so we need to deconstruct those ladders and insulated tiles across here actually we're going to need to deconstruct all these ladders i believe And hey, look, our stress is back down here. What's the, uh... Aha! We've cleaned out all this carbon dioxide. Perfect. Beautiful. The pressure in here is a nice... Fine 1900, not 4000 like it got to last night, which is what the craziness was. Okay, beautiful. Very, very nice. Conservation is going to be telling me the puffs as we, uh, slowly get... The uh, polluted auction in there. Okay, so we'll delete those. And 
another steam turbine made of gold right there. That'll be the two things we need there to tame this thing. And I'll probably put in a door there. Yes, they can go on either side. Should be fine. Okay. And we want to slowly move, open this up, is what we need to do. So what we're going to do to slowly move this over is build this out of regular tiles as we move this over to encapsulate this all. And we'll eventually need to put water on the ground in here. It'll turn to steam. And this will be a, a tamed, whatever kind of volcano you are, aluminum or, are you aluminum? Yeah, because we have copper and gold already. And we'll have to add this to the shipping stuff over there. Is that reachable? That is unreachable. If I do this, that'll be reachable. All right, so is this thing ready to go? This thing's ready to go. So I need to, is it single crew right now? Yes, Nikola, so crew. It's gonna come in here. I need to tell him to take off his suit. And we're gonna do some exploration for this guy. Let me pick this stuff off the ground too so it doesn't get all uh, messed up over here. Yeah, we'll have to move some eggs manually over here if things become an issue, but we'll keep an eye on As long as they're not crowded, then we're good. Yeah, we got fluid auction there. Beautiful. Alright, so we got some puffs getting tamed. Uh, is he inside of here? He is not inside of here yet. Unreachable food. What? Why will he not leave here? Um, is it because it's on vacancy only? Okay, who is this? This is Bert. I need to get these settings. If I assign you, will you now go out? Is it now always? Okay. Yeah, this this Atmos suit shouldn't be there, right? This one's always this one's always. What what did we set do the settings over here for? How does because this one works? This one is on vacancy only, and that one's always permitted. So that should have been right. Maybe that because there was a suit there, it messed it up. So this should be vacancy only. That should be always permitted. I kind of need to test this to make sure this works. Let me let me have somebody like dig here and we'll see what happens. I'll make sure that this should be working correctly as long as none of these are none of these are flooded or anything. This should be fine. Okay, let me see the guy in here. Is he here yet? Set to crew. You're not in here yet, are you? We have all this stuff. I didn't fill it back up with water, but the auction's good. The water should be enough for a shorter trip. Although, why is the water not set up? Because uh, it moved. I'm going to move this in such a way that it'll be lined up again. So I'll fill it up with water. 
Yeah, that works. Although that is awkward. Uh... Okay, should, that should fix that, hopefully. Okay, I'm not sure why the guy hasn't gone there yet, honestly. Okay, this keeps happening. What is happening here? They can see only. What the hell does this mean? May only pass if there's a room in a dock to store their suit. Why does this keep happening? Oh, I swear I hate suit checkpoint stuff. Why will you not go past? There's a suit there. You just pick up the suit and go. I'm so confused. Why will- there's a suit here, it's fully fueled. Oh, this is so dumb, man. Okay, you take your suit off. Why did you just take your suit off? Okay, there he went out. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I really hate the way these the the this stuff works here. Are you going to be able to leave? Okay. It worked that time. I don't know, man. That's so stupid. So stupid. I just have to keep an eye on that, apparently, so they don't kill themselves. Ah, such a stupid mechanic, man. Uh, well, we have gold, so just do that. That. I'll just set up piping and everything there. Because there's one suit too many? Uh, I mean, I took the suits out, and now there's one there? I don't know, man. I think these things just get freaking bugged. That's the only thing I could think of. They, they have to be getting bugged or something. This is going to need to be out of steel in here. That thing's going to get super hot. Insulated pipe. Obsidian. There, and then the others can be just like igneous. I'm going to let these things cool themselves, I think. Is that what I have the other ones doing? They just cool themselves? Yeah. Yeah, they cool themselves, keep themselves from overheating. So it'll be like this. Radiant liquid pipe out of something we have a ton of. Aluminum is good. There. And then same thing here. And insulate it to there. Something like that. No, it would say flooded if it was the liquid, yeah. It would say flooded. I, I, I just... I don't even know, man. It's like if I'm not there, they won't do it correctly. Okay. Why is... I've changed this to crew. Why... Why is the guy not come over here? Am I crazy? Uh, Nicola is assigned to this, right? Who are you, Nicola? Nicola. Let's re-sign him. Maybe that'll get him to come in here. Yeah, we filled it back up with water. Good. Nicola, you need to come over here. There it goes. Oh, what's wrong with you? Are you hurt? Why is he hurt? The hell did you get hurt by? All right, well, whatever. You're going to heal in the space. Yeah, you're going to heal in space, basically. Uh, come on. 
Move over here. Remove your suit. Come on. Let me select the goddamn guy here. Uh, unequipped suit. Okay, we're gonna launch. And where are we going? Uh, let's see, we have... Uh, don't do return trip yet. So if I go... Here first. We'll go there first. That's what we'll do. And then launch it. Get launch sequence. I better, you know what I'm gonna say before we do this. In case he dies because of his, I don't know what what's caused his wounds. What's up, Rissy? How are you doing, my friend? Okay. Are you things actually starving? You shouldn't be. There's there's polluted oxygen in here. There is polluted oxygen, so. They should not be starving. We've got six of eight critters. Have we got one more egg down here yet? Squeaky pufflet. No. Okay. All right. Uh, going back over here. Okay, good. Nobody, nobody's stuck in there. That's good. And this thing's almost done. All I need to do... Let's fill this in and we'll be good. Yes, it's hot in here, I know. It's definitely hot in here. Okay. So I'll have to get the, um... I'll have to get the, uh... What are they called? Shipping thing set up as well in here. Shipping in the water for the steam and all that. What I got? Balm Holy Seed, sure. Okay. Once we build that, we can deconstruct that, and these guys will be ready to go. Only to dump water in here. Um, let's see how I want to do that. Insulated tile right there will let me to pour water that way. And we'll make the uh, thing we dump water with out of obsidian so that hopefully it won't overheat. Like that. Okay, beautiful. Then we can deconstruct this, and now that guy will be workable. Okay. I might need more steel. Are these made out of steel? Yeah, these auto sweepers are made out of steel. Oh, that's sitting on top of obsidian. Uh-oh. Hopefully that'll be fine. Hopefully it'll be fine. Uh, I need to send some more steel over here, actually. So... All these super hot things. Um, manufactured material. Steel. Reset the amount there. All right, so this guy's going to pick that thing up, which I think will get us uh, some weird statue thing or whatever. It will do two... How much steel do we have? Some manufactured material... Six tons, okay. 
Okay, we'll say that's good for now. And if we need more, we'll send more. Alright, so that'll send that out. And let's take a break from this, making these forever, so that we can refill all these guys. The rad bolts. Alright, did they shoot stuff off? Yes, they did. Okay. How do we get this thing? Did I need to... I wonder if I needed, like, the minor thing on this, because I almost wonder if they could even get this. I guess he can't... So I went over here, but I can't actually get this thing. So I, I think maybe I was supposed to mine this or something. Okay, well, let's go over here. This should reveal what's what's over in that question mark. Because we're looking for one more planet is what we're looking for. In the meantime... Let's get water going in here. Uh, we'll do salt water, enable auto bottle seven, because salt water is what we have available. Right? Well, you know what? No, let's do, let's do clean water. If we can grab this clean water, it's fine. Yeah, we're going to get this critter starvation over and over for the puffs, which is a lie. It's a big lie. You're not starving, right? Yeah, there's oxygen in here. There's also polluted oxygen. There's all sorts of stuff you can eat in here. They're just refusing to eat because you're lazy, stupid things. You're lazy, stupid. Don't be so lazy and stupid. And if only my game wasn't so lazy and laggy, too. Alright, so that's going to turn this to steam. This thing isn't still doing crude oil, is it? It is, actually, yeah. Okay. Okay. That should probably be plenty of water for just this to work. Doesn't say low pressure, right? Oh, I need to actually plug in these pipes. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. That should be plenty then, right? Yeah. Deep struck that guy. Alright, so now all I need for this is to set up the delivery of the metals, which would require us going through insulated tiles again. So I need to set up an insulated tile track. Do I keep an eye on the puffed eggs? Maybe add them to resource list on the right? It, they're always they're always in the resource list. I just don't track anything. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look at. The, uh, give me a second. Let me let me work on this thing. Let me. I'm not super concerned with having that be done. Uh, immediately and perfectly. This and this going up to there should be a safe place to run. Our stuff through here so um, auto sweeper of steel put it right there and uh, then a conveyor loader what temperature is it in here Gold should work for this if it's not right next to the thing here. Hey, what's up, Dracolin? I'll need to power these guys. Uh, one, two, I think I could just use regular power lines. Let's do regular power lines out of gold here. Actually, you know what? That's dumb. I should run this through. These 
insulated tiles so they don't melt. Okay, so like that. Uh, you wish you had more time in life to catch my streams. Well, you can always watch it on YouTube if you uh, are really desperate. Because I, I definitely put everything over on YouTube. I know it's different for some people that don't like live stuff or whatever, or only like to watch it live, but I do put them all on YouTube for that reason. Alright, so... I do have one pufflet egg, so that should be going here. Somebody should be delivering that. Where the pufflet egg should be in here too, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's two. I have two pufflet eggs. Why are they not going in here? They're able to reach these, right? Sweep. If I sweep one, I should be bringing that down over here. Are we, uh, we're not full up in here, are we? Should still be six, I'm assuming. Oh, you're including YouTube in catching my streams. Gotcha. Well, life is busy. I definitely understand that. Six of eight. So why... Why is that? Why is nobody doing this? Errand. I have a feeling they can't reach this for some reason. They should be able to reach anything in here, right? Like, can I tell them to sweep that? Can they do that? Maybe they can't reach this stuff. Do I need to get rid of this uh, tile here? Can they now reach this stuff? Okay, they can't. All right, it must have been it must have been that maybe. No, they should have been able to reach that otherwise. There's something going on here. There's something going on here. Auto sweeper could reach that stuff. Okay, he just picked up the egg. Okay, maybe he couldn't reach that. Huh. So maybe I need to deliver this puff, these pufflet eggs. You know, we're not drowning anything for meat anymore. So I think I'm going to just drop these, um, let me see here, automation, shipping. Yeah, these eggs right here, they're going to go in there. Is that okay? No, I need them to be able to reach that, actually. So, you know what? Go like this. Separate this. We just deliver these eggs on the ground over here. They can pick them up and deliver them where we want them to go. Yeah. Because we're still looking for the dense pufflets. Okay, that should allow us to reach those now. Okay, all right. Uh, how are we doing over in space? You're still heading that way, okay. Over here. Uh, this is this is overheating. Why are you overheating? 120 degrees. They should totally not be overheating. Okay, looks okay. All right, we're going to ask for... Um, actually, I think we can take everything, but we definitely always want to have all refined metals, but mainly it's the aluminum. So if you do this, you'll start picking that up, right? Actually, let's hold off on that. Let's not do that until we set up the delivery of said items. Shipping, conveyor rails. What do you have a lot of? We have a lot of gold. It's going to heat up this door. Hmm. Do I have a better way to get this through without heating up stuff? I guess we'll do a... No, I don't think doing a conveyor bridge is going to help much. A conveyor bridge here...
Um, if I deconstruct that. Uh, so hard to keep the heat from. You know, getting out, but we'll do this. To deliver to there. That should work. That is all unreachable, though. Okay, then to make it reachable. Cancel. Go like that. That should all be reachable. Okay, and I think that should work. It's going to be, there's going to be some heat dumped out here, though. Some heat dumped out. Anyway, I can do this with less heat dumped out of here. We dump it out there and right there. Uh, okay, we'll just let, uh, let that go for a bit. It'll take him a little bit of time to get that done. What do we got here? We have 307,000 here. We'll dump the food off on this place. Swamp charred hearts for free over here. Won't never goes amiss. Wow, this place is just filled with oil. Well, we're never going to run out of oil anytime soon. Well, that's good. Never running out of oil, that's for sure. Okay. All right. And I, now I have a place where I can always come and check what eggs do we have. So we can come back and just like quickly look and see, do we have any dense puplet eggs yet? Damage overheated. Damn, it's this thing again. How are you overheating? Okay. Um, can I please select things, please? Stable auto repair, deconstruct. We're just going to make this out of steel. I think I have the steel for it. Yeah. I hate to use steel for this, but... Just got to do it. Just gotta go. Just gotta do it. It's pretty cool, though. We actually have a source of power with whenever these volcanoes erupt. That's just giving us some steam power. So a lot of our power is coming from the hot metals and the volcanoes. Okay. Uh, if you add those eggs to the resource tracker, you can be my notification system. I don't know how to do a resource tracker. How do you even do that? Can you like pin certain resources? You will have to tell me because I've never tracked like a single resource before. Okay, so we got an organic mass field over here. Five of 12, so we would not be able to get back through that. So we got to come back home and refuel before we go up there. Okay, well, this didn't quite, this first scouting mission didn't quite work out as uh, well as I was hoping. Okay, let me let them finish this. Once this is done, then I'm going to go back to, they, they actually are currently not able to collect any of uh, the enriched uranium that's down here currently, currently, currently. And I gotta dig out that and that once we do get back down in here. Okay, just a couple more done uh, to get done here, and then we will be good to start shipping all that metal up to here, and then we'll have a source of aluminum, copper, and gold refined, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Beautiful. So, save the game. I'm about to ship, ship, to shift, ship a bunch of hot, hot metals through this thing, and I don't, don't want to melt anything. So let's keep. So let's go. If we go for aluminum. All right, some hot metals being shipped right now, and it's just sitting in there right now. Conveyor rail blah. Uh, 
Is that reachable? That's not reachable, is it? Um, it'll be reachable if I deconstruct this metal tile right here. And now I have some very hot stuff sitting in here. And the temperature is going to go up. So, okay, I should be able to reach that now. Yep, cool. And then we rebuild that tile out of what was that gold? I think. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That one, that one spot was unreachable. Do it! 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 Okay, there we go. Take that there. Okay, now I should be seeing these things coming through here. Beautiful. Okay. Temperature they're coming out right now. 480-something degrees. All right, but there we go. Beautiful. 120 degrees. I got to say, these shipping through metal tiles definitely transfers that heat quickly. That so definitely cools these things down quickly and heats up the room quickly, so that's pretty good. Some of the stuff's, yeah, 400 degrees. 400 degrees, and it's going down 200, 300. Wow, it goes down like a couple hundred degrees just in a couple tiles. It's pretty crazy. Awesome. Cool. How is this overheating? This turbine's too hot. It's just everything got too hot in here. If I put water on the ground in here, would it be able to cool down quicker, I wonder? If I had the radiant liquid pipes running through a liquid on the ground, because it's carbon dioxide that's really hot in here. Oh, the generator's too hot. Okay, I need to stop shipping stuff for a bit here. Generator too hot. Uh, for the tracker, okay, I'll, I'll give me a bit here. Let me, uh, let me see if I can fix this. Let me mop up this crude oil, and then I'm going to try to have a layer of crude oil on the ground here as a heat to transfer medium. Gotta, gotta play a little bit of cleanup right here. save a lot of repair for right now uh, for tracker click plus see all just check a circle next to wanted resource a circle ah okay well the thing is the egg that I want I've never seen so I can't do that right it's the dense pufflet egg so the one I'm looking for I can't actually track really can't track something I don't have yet tell them that don't go through this door walk around so that we can do sweep oil sweep only crude oil seven and a water bottle hopefully put some oil on the ground and the water running through it that'll hopefully cool this better i hope 
I hope, I hope, I hope. You'll tell me when it jumps to 165. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm sure no other resource will show up then. This, uh, I need to check when this thing gets back so that that guy... You know what? I'm going to tell him to put a suit on right now. Because it's always when he takes a suit off that is an issue, right? If I tell you to put your suit on right now... Let's actually tell you to put on the suit that's full of oxygen. So, Nicola. There, assign you that suit. Okay, so hopefully once you get home, you won't run out without a suit on. Okay. Alright, so now what we want to do is... Connect this and have this go. Put this and this. This and this. Like this. This. Cancel all that. So now if I get some oil on the ground... Which, oh, I put it on sweep only, so move. Liquids. Add a nine. There. Should deliver that oil there, put it on the ground, and hopefully that'll start cooling this room down, I hope. Right, this thing's working now, finally, thank goodness. Okay, is that going to start cooling this down some? Do, 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 do. Okay, heat damage. That's fine. All right, that looks better. This one just needs to cool down a little bit more. Once it kicks into high gear, its own liquid will start cooling it. This is slowly going down. I think this will slowly fix itself. Might be weird because it's off center from the volcano. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know if that matters or not. Just needs to get to temperature. What's the temperature it needs to get down to? I forget. This one's at 90, uh, 88 degrees. I think once it gets below 100, it'll kick on. Hey, there we go. Okay. Okay, alright. I think we're good. I think we're good. This uh, oil on the ground, cooling this down, I think we fixed it. Okay, so now these will work. I can enable auto repair here. Uh, the other issue is when we send the hot stuff through here, if it's going to heat it up too much. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of this door. I'm going to deconstruct this door, because if I make these insulated tiles, I won't have that issue. The only heat that would be dropping would be, like, right in here. So if I do insulated tiles right here. Then that, uh, those, uh, the hot metal won't be passing. It'll pass it through, be passing through the, uh, insulated tiles, which should help. Did uh, this thing come back yet? Not yet. It is almost there, though. All right, once we do this, we'll save again and send hot metal through here one more time and see how that does. Okay, beautiful. The heat down here is much more controllable. 
I do have a water. I do have a water lock for this, which is not the best. It's okay. All right, save. I need more oil at this place for more water locks and stuff. It's fine. That's future Rand's problem. And you know what we say about future Rand? F that guy. All right, aluminum. Refined aluminum here. All right, let's see here. Anything overheating? Thing is going up in heat. But hopefully it won't melt here. And really, it's just there's so much aluminum for this first shipment that this is the biggest stress on it. It'll be better once it's not completely having to pick up stuff up all the time. Rand Multiverse. Rand 119 is a problem. That's right. What's up, Shekley's a top? <laughs> Rand 119. Oh, man, I hate that guy. He can, he can go. He, he could go, you know, stuff his saris in a sack. Paku, um, let's do that here. Oh, this is back. Okay, it looks like Nicola. I need to refill this now. Now this thing needs to go up that way. Um, yeah. Okay, so they can they can. Get refilled with water and all that stuff. Okay, I wanted to check printables. Ah, uh, yes, it was uh, for the fish. I always take more Paku. We gotta deconstruct this tile for him, though. For them to get out of there, I think. Okay. Okay, wow, there's a lot of heat in here, apparently. Wow, this is the first time I've seen these actually have to stop here to dump off more heat. Okay, anything over here overheating? Uh, it's getting hot, but I don't think it's overheating. The water here, 83 degrees. I'm a little worried about that. I should I should send some oil over here to dump some oil. Uh, is there any place where I can get some oil? There's some oil there. I need more oil. So I have this thing filled with oil, and the way to ship oil is I tell them to auto bottle oil over here. So that would be um, liquid food oil. Coffee paste. We want to ship more crude oil over there for more of our liquid locks. <laughs> Feel that because F future Rand, poor guy, but I should at least help him out a little bit, right? I should at least help him out a little bit. Check our eggs. What eggs we currently have? Um, none. Okay, pufflet egg is there though. So it looks like so far the only special pufflet type we've got are squeakies. And we want the dense pufflets. Squeaky puffs and squeaky pufflets, but we don't have the dense yet. Which is what we're looking for. Create some free, uh... Free something. Free oxalite. Can I assign... What's his face that's been hurt? Nicola. We're going to sign him to get healed. You notice if you pause at the turn of the cycle, the lag is shorter? Really? Okay. I'll have to see if I can try to do that. Can I pause, like, as, as the load is happening? Or as the save is happening, I wonder? Seventy-five degrees. Whew, it's hot in here. It is hot in here. Okay, this is the one I'm worried about. I'm gonna say oil. 
Who do I only have a lot of bottles? Seven. Okay, I just hit pause. I don't know if that helped at all. And then unpause, I don't know. Maybe it did something. <laughs> I'll say I have no idea. All right, we should slowly get some oil over here. Ooh, is that oil? Please tell me you're delivering me some oil right now. Delicious, delicious one pocket of oil. Okay. I have to pause when the new cycle music is playing. Oh god, so I have to like time it perfectly? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to time that well enough. It's like a mini game of, or something. It works on your potato laptop at least? Okay. Alright, once this thing is filled and Nicola is um, repaired, healed, uh, we should be good to find out. Ho sure, certainly this has got to be another planet. Because I currently, I can't actually go any further out than this, it seems. Alright, they should be starting to... Yeah, they put a little oil in there. Good. So what we want to do, we basically want to force the water out of here. So that's oil mainly in this uh, liquid lock here. I think nuclear waste is fine too. What's the... Yeah. 526C, so... As long as there's nuclear waste and oil in, like, these three spots, we should be good. So the oil is still in that spot. I want this spot right here to be either nuclear waste or oil. Um, okay, so once they get that liquid lock, then I can... I'm going to slowly start working on taking this out, too, so we can get back into here, picking up the... Uh, Picking up the nuclear waste again. So if I do that, they'll be able to walk in through here. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. That should be good. I'll allow one more delivery. Do they have? Yeah, they have enough for one more delivery. Once one more delivery here, we'll cancel this and we should say that should be a good lock. This water here is 71C and it's kind of kind of insulated. There we go. Very nice. That should be a good lock. I honestly should do this with our other metal. Uh, there's one other metal volcano that I don't have a lock like that, but it's 36 degrees over here. This lock will be fine. Sure, nothing could potentially go wrong with that. All right, so aluminum... So now that's just regular. Okay, you know what? I want all this stuff to go in there. And then all metals, and then all metal ore. So this thing will basically clean this out right now. And that will all get cooled, and it'll be usable up here. Very nice. This looks very um, advanced. It's just me, Tim. It is. We're pretty. We're pretty mid to late game on our current um, playthrough here. We're doing space stuff. We're doing automation stuff. We're doing lots of good stuff. And I would. I would agree. This is pretty late game stuff we're doing. That's for sure. This liquid lock look tight. Get it right. Get it tight. Seems good enough. All right, so we're about to send... Okay, so that's full. Is Nicola healed? I believe Nicola might be healed. Checking my eggs. No eggs. Okay, so let us... Oh, this needs to be one more shot here. Looks like to fill this up completely. Uh, oh, wait. What is this? Eight? 
rad bolts per thing. Okay, it's a little bit longer to fill that up completely. There it is. This can now go down. And we're done shipping. Actually, I don't need to ship any more oil. That'll be good for now. Let's turn the diamond press back on. Turn our rad bolts into diamonds. And okay, let us send another scouting party. Hopefully this time. Um, we will be able to find a new planet. And that's the goal today, is to start another planet terraforming. Because I feel like everything on Cult of Volan is pretty well self-sustainable, and I don't have to worry about it and watch it all the time anymore. Famous last words, probably. Um, Nicola, go ahead and unequip your suit. Okay. Water's there. O2 is there. Looking good. So let us... Go check out what's over here. Let's go that distance there. You are sleeping on the floor. You, you, you have you have literally you have beds over here. So where are you, Nicola? Nicola. That's your bed now. Uh, so you ready to go? All right, launch it. Okay. Food has decayed. Meal lice, that's fine. I wonder how our uh, chilling is doing down here. Just a few of these sleet wheats occasionally not chilled, and just a few of these. It's good enough. It's good enough. I'm never going to have perfect uh, chilling in these rooms. No matter how much I've tried, I can't. Can't quite keep it. It's at negative 30C on this cooling loop, and it just does not cool enough. All right. Okay. Uh, you know what I should do? In case this stuff ever overflows, I better prepare for that. Let me go one more space higher on this. That. And then Mafic Rock. Um, well, Liquid Vent. Out of, uh, gosh, I'm so almost out of resources here. So if I do this right here, if I do it there, will it go out to space? I think it'll fall, and then the overflow should go out then into this space, I think. I think that's how that'll work. What is this stuff made out of? Igneous rock, okay. Plenty of that. So overflow will go to here. I think that'll work. What's up, Wemma Bola? Minus 30C, maybe it's too cold? Oh no, it's definitely not too cold for these. It's always... Just... Look at the temperature, it's... It's 3.5C. It's not too cold. These things, sleep we can go down to negative 55. It's always too warm, it's never too cold. Honestly, it might be the cooling liquid, so maybe I'd have to get a better liquid in there or something, but... I don't know. That might be the problem. Uh, what kind of pipes am I using? We're using iron radiant liquid pipes. You know, maybe I could, I have radi gold. I think is a better temperature transfer medium. It might be that we're using ethanol, and if we get super cool, and once we get super cool, we'll be able to do that. But we're still a ways away from getting super cool, and I think. You know, I have Drekos in here. I really should. I should send all of my Drekos in here, and I should get a shearing station. That way I don't have to worry about running out of um, cotton stuff, whatever that's called. Shearing station. Okay. 
I'm gonna do a shearing station and a grooming station in here. Do I need these things to be able to eat certain things? They want to eat mealwood plants, don't they? Yeah, I think we can actually get just a little baby farm in here. Um, food. One, two, three. Get a little bit of a Dreco shearing thing set up in here. I need them in hydrogen for their fur to regrow, is that right? Hmm. I think you are right about that. Which I think we can make that work. If I um, remove these top two doors and make them actual just tiles and then pump some hydrogen in here, that should be easy enough. Because hydrogen will just float to the top. I just got to remove these airflow tiles. I want them to be able to get this way. I need to do like this and they'll be able to get through there, I think. I've been meaning to do this so I don't have to rely on Thimble Reed for our... Uh, Or our, uh, what is it called? Cotton reed fiber stuff. <laughs> what are you doing, Camille? Oh, that thing's stuck in there, aren't you? <coughs> Damn it, man. Can I, can I wrangle this guy? Probably have to deconstruct this tile right here. So annoying. Now there's a pip stuck in there. Jesus, these stupid, stupid, stupid things. It's not only duplicates that are stupid, it's also stupla, stupla animals that are stupid. Okay, and I think I even have some hydrogen fairly close I could siphon off of for this. Uh, yeah, right here. So if instead of having this go to here, I have gas bridge. I can just bring that right into here. And do a vent. High pressure gas vent. Right there. To there and to there and I don't think they eat the uh, uh, hydrogen they just need to live in the hydrogen and then they eat uh, was it mealwood I think it's mealwood right and that will feed them all right so we want Dreco's what's the space of this I wonder 54 I have a feeling I should only get like, what is it, 96? That's about half. So let's say four total. Five, and we'll see if they're cramped. This poor Pip. Uh, where can I tell the Pip to go so it's not in there? Here, you can put the Pips in here. Put it over there. That Draco is stuck on the doors. Is it still stuck, or did I fix it? Not sure. So I have a uh, Dreco, let's uh, wrangle and wrangle. It's free now? Okay, good. <laughs> good. Yeah, 
Okay, that should allow us to pump some hydrogen in there eventually. That's reachable, right? Yeah, cool. How's our, how's our uh, little search going here? Okay, all right, we're revealing a little bit more of the map. Very nice. We need just enough hydrogen here for the top layer to be filled. That's all we really need. Man, I thought I, I thought I fixed my natural gas problem, but apparently, apparently I'm leaking natural gas somewhere. I have a gas leak, and I cannot, for the life of me, figure out where it is. I have no idea where this natural gas is coming from. It's coming from it. All right, anybody building this? Current errand. There it is. Okay. All right, there we go. I just need the top row of this to be hydrogen, then that'll be that'll be all we need. Okay, that looks like that should be just about good. I'm going to let one more packet come through here. All right, let's get rid of that gas bridge. What was that sound? Rockets in orbit. Oh, okay, it's showing, I guess we did discover a new planet. Wow, I've never heard that sound. Hydriol. Cool slush geyser, polluted water vent, cosmic radi radiation, has barren and aquatic. Aquatic biome flush with a huge deposit, deposit of precious something. So we found a water planet. Uh, what happened to FTL on this day? Uh, I haven't played FTL on Tuesdays in like months, MLG. I've been playing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday FTL. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Um, where is... What is it that I'm actually looking for? I'm looking for... Fullerene. Graphite. So, where was it for graphite? Uh, there's, there's elements. Solids. Graphite. Trying to find where that is. That's kind of the fullerene. Um, yes, it's today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I can't help you if you don't know what day it is. <laughs> You're gonna have to work on that on your own. Um, I thought we saw where we were supposed to find it somewhere. This is the biome with graphite? How, how do you know? For like the description, does it say graphite anywhere? Aquatic, can I click on that? Aquatic. Um. Oh, there it is, graphite, elements, okay. All right, all right, so this, this is where we're gonna go to find graphite. Now, an aquatic planet it's going to be an interesting one to work with, but um, let's bring our ship back. We need to send this guy back. And we need to get our duplicates over there. So we're going to send three duplicates. Oh, you know what? We have... Let's at least see what's here. Is it working that way? Yeah. So we'll see what's there, and then we'll head back to fuel up to send our three duplicates that we've been training over there. 
Cool. All right. Yeah, these three that are training in here. You've been training all this time. Soon. Soon you will be starting your new life elsewhere. Uh, Marie, Ellie, and Rowan, you've been training all this time. All right, cool. So this is set up that they will be able to do their stuff there. Okay, cool. Body temperature. Will they be able to eat in there? Needs to be... What's the temperature? Meal wood. Needs to be 10 to 30, and the temperature is... 42. So I'd need to get some cooling in here if I really want this to be sustainable. Uh, it's, it's kind of a secondary thing. It's not that big a deal. Do a little trip around the aquatic planet. Well, the the thing is that it's I'm going to have to... Going around... I don't, I don't have enough fuel to like do a big trip around, I don't think. I'm going to reveal this and then go back. What I can do is I can go drop them off from this, like here, and then check out that on the way back next time, I think. I'm curious... How I would set up a base here. We got dirt, sandstone, sand. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to bring some raw resources over here, right? Like some metals and things. I'm gonna need to actually bring some raw resources. I'm gonna have to bring a... Uh, what is it called? A Wayfarer module to land a guy on here to make a rocket launch pad thing. Oh, ice plate? Oh, that's not a bad idea, yeah. I don't know how long that will cool it, but... Um, Tilly, I always forget about that, too. Temp shift plate made out of ice. So we'll flood this room, but it'll hey, it'll cool it down for a little bit. It's great this game actually lets you go to different planets now. I know, it's great. It's really cool. Okay. How are we doing over here? Ah, okay, now we can finally get back in here, right? Were they able to dig these things out? Uh that is unreachable. It's because they can't get across here. Okay. That should allow them to get across there now. Beautiful. How are things looking over here? Looking good. How much uh, aluminum have we got so far? Um, 1.1 tons, I guess. Not bad. Oh, and there's even more in there, I think. Oh, wait, that's aluminum ore. I'm looking for... Refined aluminum. 13 tons of refined aluminum. Okay. Um, I honestly want to start digging out this map and sending a bunch of the um, non-refined metals over. So, what do I have here currently, metal-wise? Because I keep running out of regular metals at my home base. I have 53 tons of gold, 18 tons of wolframite, I should be sending Wolframite over there to turn in tungsten, 100%. So let's uh, let's put Wolframite in here. And then I'm going to start sending gold amalgam like crazy over there. We have aluminum. And I'm going to start telling them to dig out some of this stuff. Because I got lots of materials over here I can use back home, that's for sure. Uh, before this guy gets here, I want to put him in his suit. How close are you? Oh, what do we find? What is that? That looks cool. This game is amazing. This game is definitely amazing. You still don't know how to play. It's pretty tough. Glimmering Asteroid Field. 
Wolframite, tungsten. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's, whoops. Let's tell this guy to head back home. And tell him to put on his suit. So I don't forget when he gets home. Oh, no, not sweep. Uh, assign it to... What is your name? Nicola. Put on your suit, sir. Let's deliver one there. Actually, you know what? Uh, take your suit off. And undock this one. Sweep this one. Well, this one says deliver. And then you're going to put this one on. This has got full durability. Nicola. And then this guy delivers suit. Okay. GG cookie time for 13 tons of aluminum. Um... Uh... I don't know if I'll GG cookie time that. We'll have other stuff we can GG cookie time. <laughs> I'm going to have to change up this thing. Um, trying to decide what I want to do next. Do I want to send a Wayfarer module down there? Or do I want to send a, uh, a, a robo guy? If I send a robot guy, I can let him build the ladder down. Because um, actually being able to build a, ro a place to land on here requires refined metals. And how much does a rocket platform require? It requires 800 of that. How much does a... Um, how much does a trailblazer module take? I have to remove some stuff to find out, so let's uh, deconstruct that. Yeah, I'm thinking about a preliminary robo thing, yeah, for sure. Definitely thinking about that. I need to do a little planning to figure out this stuff. Is that reachable? Yeah, it's reachable. So if I do that, and then if I replace this one, nope, still need more space, so I need to deconstruct that guy. Printables available. Uh, wart seed, why not? Can you send resources for capsule opening at the same time? Well, I don't know about that because... I plan on sending a bunch of resources. It's going to take power and a lot of stuff to get set up over there. Okay, so Trailblazer module takes 200. So we actually need... To get enough materials for a rocket platform, it takes... You would need to actually... Four trailblazers or modules that you deconstruct over there. What about the rover module? So rover module takes 200. This is not the refined metals. Trailblazer module takes refined metals. I'm trying to remember how we did it over here. We built this thing out of refined copper. I feel like we only landed two Trailblazer modules over here. You know, it's probably just going to take multiple trips. I probably have to take one duplicate over at a time at a Trailblazer module until we get enough to build the rocket so a rocket platform, I mean to say. So... I'm 
gonna do a big dig, a big dig project right now. Let's give these people something to do. Got to about there. Dig all the way across about like this. Although, don't do these two. I don't want to. That's an aluminum volcano. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to open that up. And actually, we'll probably need a ladder to be able to reach that stuff. Okay. Okay, and we're going to actually stop this for now because we're going to need to refuel our rocket when it gets back. Which, how close are you to getting back? You're about halfway back. You still have enough oxygen in there? You're actually about to run out of oxygen, so I shouldn't have put you in your suit. I'm so... It's so annoying when they... Uh, they get back and they won't put on their suit or whatever. On a clipper suit. There we go. Popped eardrums. Why is it so high pressure in here? The hell? How does that even happen? I don't know how that happens, honestly. Undock. Deliver. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Move here. And put this suit in there. There we go. That'll fill that guy up. Yeah, your poor popped eardrums. I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry for that, Nicola. Wish I could help you out with that. Don't know how that happened. All right, we filled up with puffs. Hey, we're filled up with puffs and puffs in here. Any special eggs? Uh, we got another squeaky pufflet egg. Still no dense pufflet egg. It looks like. I don't want to tell them stop doing this. Um, yeah. You've been you've been keeping an eye on the 164 until it becomes 165. Okay, nice. All right, so I'm trying to plan out how we're gonna do this. What what kind of range does this guy have? Three of six. So this thing definitely can't go there. This one could actually go... Grab that other thing. It could actually go grab this, I think. Waiting on the dents. There we go. If we get a dense pufflet, that'll be our GG cookie time, 100%. So in the meantime, uh, is there anything we can work on here? Maybe I can work on figuring out the natural gas. Where the hell is it coming from? I swear I cleaned some of this up at one point. I swear I did. It's somehow sneaking out of here. There should be no way it gets out of here. Natural gas coming from down here. That's from our other base. Someone said GG Cookie Time. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. We we gotta we gotta make the GG Cookie Time worthwhile, you know. We did clean out pretty much all the natural gas down here. It's it's gotta be over here somewhere. Natural gas generators eat the natural gas and dump out carbon dioxide. So why the hell is there a window tile there? I don't see any natural gas like on a vent anywhere. You can have a cookie if you really need a cookie. Feel free to have a cookie. All right, I'm going to build a whole bunch more gas reservoirs right now. So, uh, 
let's do this. Do a whole separate layer of these and dump more stuff in there. Okay. And piping is going to go out from here. To there. To there. To there. To there. To there. And to there. Then we do gas bridges across here. This. 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 Uh, nope. There to uh, stop it. There. 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 Is that doing what I want it to do? So I'll plug plug these pumps back in. They'll go through my natural gas filter. Um. And then they'll fill up these guys, I think. Okay. Because I just... I gotta somehow get rid of all this natural gas. I, I just... Maybe it hasn't... The amount of... Out here hasn't changed. It's just what's changed is the uh, pressure or something. Freeze the, freeze the natural ga gas in one tile. I guess I could do an infinite gas storage. I'm trying to avoid that kind of shenanigans. They're building that. Let me look at our egg chances on our guys up here. If we're getting any higher on stuff here. On egg chances. Why are you overcrowded in Glum? Should not be overcrowded in here. Forty four percent chance. Okay, why are we overcrowded? Eight critters should not be overcrowded in 96 tiles. Is there an egg in here? There should be no eggs. And it would tell me if there were more eggs. Why? Why are you overcrowded? Do puffs have... need to be more um, on their own or something? Yeah, I just find it too cheesy to store, do infinite storage stuff. Although, I don't think I've done it yet, but I might eventually do it if I need to. Okay. Twenty-four tiles per puffed. So apparently, you can't have eight then. If that's the case, I don't know how many, 24 tiles per puffed. So what is 96 divided by 24? Does that mean I can only have four in here? Is that right? So I should only have four, actually, it sounds like. Yeah, eight is for hashes. Okay, so I need this to be max of... So I actually need to change this to max of four. Uh, how do I fix that? Who's the oldest puffed? I don't want to get rid of our puffed prince, although he's only got two more cycles left. He's about to die. So maybe I let him die off. Oh, man, I... Without the puffed prince, I don't, puffed prince, I don't know how likely we are to get a dense, dense puffed. Uh, 
All right, so you're, what, well, you're age 23, 11, 8, 30, 35. Do I have a prince egg? Let's see. No, I don't. Not showing one. I have two pufflet eggs and one squeaky pufflet egg. From what I can see. Um, man, yeah, the two pufflet eggs are in there. All right, I think I just have to change this to a max of four. I never did watch a guide on, uh, on, uh, puffed ranching, so. Don't know exactly how all that works. All right, so at least they're making him not glum anymore. Do they have a chance of uh, having a puffed egg? I mean, a puffed prince egg, I wonder. Um, 0% chance on puffed prince egg. What about you? Oh, he's got a, yeah, zero. So you need two puffed princes apparently to do that. Hmm, if we never got a dense pufflet egg, then I feel like we're kind of screwed once this guy dies. Okay, what I'm gonna do is have our extra puffs go in here so that they're not overcrowded. So that should allow them to auto wrangle the extras, I think. Is that right? Will they auto wrangle the extras now? There we go. They didn't auto wrangle the puffed, which is or the puffed print, puffed prints. So that's good. Right, so they should take the extras, and once it's down to four, hopefully they will no longer be um, what's the word? Um. Sad. <laughs> what is it? Overcrowded, that's the word I'm trying to think of. Okay, so we now have four in here. There is polluted auction in here, so you shouldn't be hungry. Alright, so 43% chance of a dense pufflet egg. I hope that happens. Right, where are they? So now we got these extra puffs in here. These ones will all... They won't be able to eat because I don't have any polluted... I don't want to put polluted auction in here. When penned with prince, the chance for prince egg decreases. Okay. Oh! So these ones actually will... Oh, they will have a chance for prince egg down here. Okay. So maybe I should have a second room that it has no prince to get prince eggs. Sounds like I should have a second room for for prince eggs. Did this guy ever come back? He did, and he probably came out without a suit on, didn't he? Oh! He hasn't actually yet. Perfect. Uh, wear this suit. Nicola, wear the suit. Eat the suit. Yeah, that's great. And then uh, this can now be... You can now leave. You should now be good to go out of here. Um, can I can I tell Nicola to leave this room? How do I tell you to go out? Why are you just hanging out in here now? Uh, you know what? I'll just assume you'll eventually go out. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do is I want to send... 
Let me see for star map. Let me see what we want to do. I want to get a robo thing over here, I think. Get a robot to start building stuff over there. So we need... Get rid of this guy. For a rover module. Rover module there. Okay. And is there anything else I can fit in this thing too? Orbital cargo module. Deliver cargo to the surface of planetoids that do not yet have a rocket platform. Oh! Oh! Deliver cargo to the surface of planetoids that do not yet have a rocket platform. That's exactly what we need, actually. I did not know that was a thing. So we could deliver metals with that. Okay. The refined metals to build a... Um, to build a rocket platform. So I can land there eventually. That'll be perfect. Let's try this design. What is this design, silly device? Wow, that is a very complicated design. That looks like a... A pretty crazy um, Francis John build or something. Looks awesome, though. Uh, I might have to watch the video on that if I want to try to build something like that, honestly. Let me look at that. So it looks like he's pumping in oxygen in there. And he's got a dense pufflet place. What are all those numbers? One, four, five. Are those feeders? What are those little things that I'm seeing? They're not fish traps. Some little things with numbers on them. They also look like they're little teleporters or something. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to see what if I can see what those things are. A shipping thing? Doesn't look like a shipping thing. Utilities? No. Stations? Uh, I should have most everything unlocked. I think there's only a couple things I need research for, so... Weird to see something that I don't even see in my game. Unless it happens to be some modded thing or something. Okay. I do kind of want to make a second second room, though, so I have a place where we could get the uh, the other type of pufflets. So what could I set up for that? Set up a similar room like this. Maybe right up here. I think I have room up here. Let me dig all this out. We already have polluted auction in, in the area up here, so make use of that. You're glum because you're just waiting to be waiting to be groomed, I think. And then I can move these guys over into this other place. I don't actually want you guys to starve, so right now I'm actually gonna tell them to put some slime in here. Get a little bit of polluted auction in there just so they'll be fed. They get this all built down here, yeah. And they're oh, these are basically all almost full already. <laughs> well, the filter's working, so that's good. So we're cleaning out some natural gas again. Some, okay, that's good. All right. Can we reach all that? Yeah, it looks like we can. Okay. I could use, like, this as the floor for their... for this pufflet room. I think that'll work pretty well, actually. 
Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. So do we have our modules set up? They have not built these yet. I guess I'm telling them to build a lot of stuff right now. Okay, it is completely refueled, so that's good. But since it's refueled, we can do this forever. Diamonds forever. We have two tons of diamond now, so this is at least doing something, so that's good. All right, so 96 tile room. Four by twenty four. Is that right? Four by twenty four? I think that's right. Or you know what? I probably want to do a similar size to this. Actually, I probably want to make this taller so that I can use two auto sweepers for it. It's really based on the auto sweeper range, I think, here. Oh my god, this freaking lag, I swear. Let me actually do this so I can extend this one higher. And we'll use this as our little, uh... Our, uh, what you would call it, room. Our spawner room or something. Our, uh, Pufflet Prince room, because I think... Yeah, our Puff Prince is actually dead now. So I'm going to tell one of these, I'm going to say this is three right now. They should grab one of these and put it back up in here for now. It does not look like... Still 40% chance for a dense pufflet egg, so I guess we still have a couple chances for dense pufflet eggs. Still hoping. Squeaky and regular pufflet egg. So far. Okay. Do not know why they're not building these. I guess because I'm telling them to do too many do do too many other build projects. Looks like they'll need to do this to reach that. <laughs> Strange how my oxalite production room has turned into a pufflet. Puff pufflet ranch. Puff puff. Puff, 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 of ranch. Just to try to get some free oxalite. There should not be mafic rock right here. This thing actually should be running right now. There's a random piece of material on here that's kept this thing from making oxalite. It's a temporary... Ranch, sure, totally temporary. Totally temporary. Okay, now this thing should be back going. There we go. Problem is, the auto sweeper is actually not able to put that in the storage bin, so I need to put this auto, this other auto sweeper back in here. This thing to be back online. Hmm. Can I even? That fits. Okay, right there. What a what a mess of a room this is. It's fine. It's fine. All right, that will deliver the oxalite to there. Okay, deconstruct this, and this is going to be a pufflet room. 
Um, so if it's, is this five high? Yeah, so five high, five times 20 is a hundred. So these go about to 19. So about to right there. At least the uh, polluted water off-gassing polluted oxygen will be eaten by this. Okay, something like that. They built these things yet? My goodness. Errands. I feel like there's something happening with that not getting built. Apart from just them build building other stuff. I feel like that should have been built already by now. Sure, free dirt, why not? Let me cancel and cancel. Let's try this again. So we want a rover module and an orbital module carrier thing. So that guy there. Let's do them one at a time. Maybe it's because I did two at a time. Maybe that messed it up for some reason. There we go. Now the ox light's been delivered. Perfect. Okay. Shine bug, you're going to have to go away. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get rid of this ladder here to do a door. All right, we're about to go on a break. We can maybe GG cookie time something. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we can GG cookie time here. <laughs> maybe sending our uh, our rocket off. We can GG cookie time or something. All right, let me deconstruct these. We actually need that to reach that, okay. And we're gonna put a, put a drop off here. Anything I've been working on over here. Oh, yes, we did a lot of digging. We did a lot of digging. Um, that, and then we can do some digging down here. About like that. We got ox light. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Construct this guy now. We can make this a grooming station. Right there. Then I'll have to put in a couple random tiles, I think, to make this a... Uh... Uh, whatever this thing is called. A ranch. Room size is... Giant, because that's not made yet. Okay. Trivaldo, what'd you get hurt by? What are you what are you doing to hurt yourself? Don't don't hurt yourself. How how can you even hurt yourself is the question I have. Alright, these are all full again. So we'll depower this guy again. There. All right, so there's less natural gas, so that's good. Less natural gas. Hopefully it won't all leak again. Oh my god. Get banned, follower bot. You are not welcome here. All right, did they build this? Hey, they're... No, they still haven't built it. Why won't they build this? Build it. Why will you not build me? 
No pending deliveries. I don't understand. Is Nicola still inside of here, by the way? Why are you in here? Why why won't you leave? I feel like this rocket is completely and utterly bugged. It's got to be bugged right now. <laughs> He's eating that. I think I, think I need to do a reload because I'm pretty sure my rocket is bugged. So let me save. I, he won't leave. And they won't build on this thing. I think that's got to be a bug. I swear these these rockets are still bugged. So we're gonna GG Cookie Time bugged rocket, and I'm gonna I'm gonna reload while um while I take my first break here. So let me go back to the main menu here. <laughs> the Atmos Suit Eater. That is him. So I'll get the game loading back up while I uh, use a restroom real quick. I'm pretty sure way back when I was watching um, Francis John's playthrough, the rockets would get bugs sometimes too. So, all this loads, all of the AFK, my friends. Thanks for hanging out. Is anybody new to the stream? Hit the follow, all that stuff. We come back and try to get this other planet started. See so y'all rock. Be right back, my friends. <laughs> 